In any ham shack, the unsung heroes are often the connectors, the small critical components that carry signals from transceivers to antennas. Whether you're operating on HF or exploring microwave frequencies, the choice of coaxial connector can profoundly impact the signal integrity and station performance. Ham radio has a rich legacy of connector types, each designed for particular frequency ranges, mechanical constraints, or durability needs. From the robust PL259 used in legacy HF setups to precision N-types for microwave and outdoor applications, each connector serves a purpose. This presentation will explore the main types of coaxial connectors found in amateur radio, offering a deep dive into their history, pros and cons, and best use scenarios. We'll also guide you on selecting the right one based on your operating conditions. Let's get started. From weekend projects to breakthrough innovations, PCBWay.com is here for builders. Enjoy top tier PCB manufacturing, professional assembly services, and fast global delivery, all backed up by a team that cares about your success. Whether you're prototyping or going full production, PCBWay.com brings your ideas to life with quality and value you can trust. Build with confidence. Build with PCBWay.com. The PL259 and SO239 connectors, often known collectively as the UHF connector, are deeply rooted in amateur radio tradition. Originally developed by Amphenol in the 1930s, they predate the modern understanding of UHF frequency standards. Despite this, they remain ubiquitous, especially for HF use. Their enduring popularity stems from their affordability, ease of installation, and their prevalence in older and current HF rigs. However, their electrical design lacks a consistent 50 ohm impedance, leading to signal loss and mismatch at higher frequencies, generally above 300 MHz. While not ideal for high frequency or outdoor unprotected use, the PL259 SO239 connectors are perfectly serviceable for most fixed HF installations. Knowing when not to use them is just as important as knowing how to use them correctly. The BNC connector is a brainchild of Paul Neal and Carl Councilman from the late 1940s. It was originally deployed in military and test instrumentation. Its bayonet locking system allows for swift and secure connections, making it highly favorable in portable ham radio gear and lab environments. In amateur radio, BNC connectors are particularly common on handheld transceivers, QRP rigs, and SDRs. Their performance up to 4 GHz makes them technically capable, but their mechanical fragility and lack of weatherproofing limit the deployment in outdoor or high wear environments. BNC connectors shine in scenarios where portability and frequent reconfiguration are essential. In test setups, it also means adapters and accessories are readily available, making them flexible and an excellent choice in the ham toolkit. The N-Type connector was developed by Paul Neal at Bell Labs during the 1940s to meet the rising demands of microwave and military communications. It introduced a significant advancement. A true 50 ohm impedance maintained across the connection, allowing for superb performance up to and beyond 11 gigahertz. Thanks to its threaded interface, the N-Type is rugged and less prone to accidental disconnection. Its structural design supports higher power loads and withstands environmental stress especially when equipped with proper sealing for outdoor use. As such, it's commonly seen in repeater installations, UHF and VHF base stations, and satellite communication gear. Despite being bulkier and pricier than alternatives like the PL259 or SMA, the N-Type connector is the go-to choice where performance, reliability, and weatherproofing are non-negotiable. It's a staple of serious, high-frequency, and permanent ham installations. The SMA connector emerged in the 1960s to serve emerging RF needs in compact devices. Its small size and threaded interface made it particularly suited for applications where space is at a premium without compromising frequency performance. SMA connectors are rated for operation up to 18 GHz, making them suitable for microwave communication, SDR modules, and high-performance handheld radios. The precision matching ensures excellence impedance consistency and low return loss critical for digital and narrowband RF systems. Despite their advantages, SMA connectors are not without drawbacks. Their mechanical threads can degrade with repeated use, and they're not particularly rugged. Adapters or pigtails are often recommended for field use. 
Still, for many modern ham applications, especially portable and SDR setups, the SMA remains an essential choice. The TNC connector is essentially a threaded evolution of the BNC, developed in the 1950s to address the latter's frequency and environmental limitations. By replacing the bayonet lock with threads, TNC connectors achieve more stable impedance and a more secure fit. Technically capable of operating up to 11 GHz, TNCs offer superior performance in a high-frequency and mobile environments. Their secure connection resists vibration and physical stress, making them preferable in mobile, vehicular, or outdoor installations compared to more fragile BNC. Though not as widely adopted in ham gear as the PL259 or SMA, TNCs appear in GPS modules, some packet radio systems, and RF equipment where ruggedness and performance intersect. They are a niche, but valuable part of the ham toolkit, especially when outdoor use is anticipated. The F connector, born in the 1950s and widely adopted in the television industry, is perhaps the most cost-effective coaxial connector in use today. Its widespread deployment in cable and satellite systems has made it popular in consumer electronics and accessible for amateur use. In ham radio, F connectors are often found in VHF and UHF receive-only setups, scanning receivers, and budget antennas. They use the center conductor of the coaxial cable line as the connector's pin, simplifying assembly but limiting durability and current handling capacity. Despite their 75 ohm impedance and fragility under power, F connectors can be quite functional for low frequency receive only applications. They're not recommended for high power or transmission use, but for listening or testing setups, they offer practical and economical choices. MCX and MMCX connectors are miniature coaxial cable connectors introduced in the 1980s to meet the demands of compact electronics and embedded RF systems. These connectors are frequently seen in GPS antennas, small SDR modules, or specialized portable devices. MCX connectors are snap-on types, offering quick connection and reasonable performance up to 6 GHz. MMCX, the micro variant, is even smaller and supports up to 3 GHz. However, their tiny form factor comes at the cost of durability. They are not suited for frequent reuse or high power transmission. Despite their fragility, these connectors play a vital role in space constrained designs. They provide adequate RF performance where traditional connectors are too bulky. Their use is niche, but critical, especially in modern, miniaturized amateur radio and commercial RF equipment. Choosing the right coaxial connector is as important as selecting the right cable or antenna. Each connector type brings trade-offs in size, frequency capability, weather resistance, and mechanical strength. By asking a few targeted questions, hams can make informed decisions about their specific setups. First, consider the frequency range. Connectors like the PL259 fall short at UHF and microwave bands, while the SMA and N-Type excel. Next, determine whether your setup is portable or fixed. Lightweight SMA connectors suit portable SDRs and HTs, while rugged N-Types shine in base stations and repeater systems. Don't forget environmental factors. Outdoor use demands weather-sealed options like TNC and N-Type connectors. And if you plan on frequent equipment swaps, factor in the mechanical wear, Quick connections like BNC are handy, but degrade faster over time. Answering these questions will help you match your connector choice to your operating conditions, ensuring reliable, loss-minimized performance. While much attention in ham radio is paid to coaxial length and antenna gain, connector loss is often ignored. That can be a costly oversight, especially at UHF and microwave frequencies. Even top-tier connections contribute to measurable signal loss. Connector losses stem from multiple factors contact resistance from tarnished or misaligned mating surfaces, impedance mismatch that reflect part of the signal, dielectric losses in internal insulation, and the skin effect where current is confined to the conductor's surface. Losses of 0.1 dB might seem trivial, but multiple connectors in line, especially if some are poorly installed or corroded, can introduce several decibels of degradation. Understanding the power handling characteristics of each coaxial connector is important for safe and effective ham radio operations. While some connectors like the N-Type are engineered to handle kilowatts across HF and UHF, others like the SMA are more suited for milliwatt scale portable setups. This slide summarizes conservative power limits under typical use, assuming low SWR, good connectors, and reasonable duty cycles. 
PL259 remain solid for HF power levels, but falter at UHF. SMA and MCX, MMCX are especially sensitive and best used well below their theoretical max range. Always factor in the transmission mode. Digital modes like FT8 or AM generate more heat due to their high duty cycles, re requiring power derating. When in doubt, prioritize the connector quality, installation integrity, and avoid pushing limits that could lead to overheating or arcing. As we wrap up, it's clear that the choice of coaxial connectors in ham radio isn't just a technical footnote. It's foundational to your station's performance. Whether you're transmitting QRP from a mountaintop or managing a kilowatt HF station at home, the right connector minimizes loss, ensures reliability, and saves you from operational headaches. Always choose your connectors appropriate to your operating conditions. Think frequency, location, and physical durability. For outdoor setups, don't skip on ceiling. Even the best connector will fail if moisture gets in. And a pro tip, keep a small pouch of adapters with you. You never know when an unexpected mismatch will pop up in the field or at a club event. In ham radio, preparation meets practicality. Understanding your connections isn't glamorous, but it's one of the smartest things you can do for reliable communications. Stay connected, stay curious, and keep those signals clean. At this point, I'd like to say thank you for watching, everyone. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond.